Oh, that was a nice one. So we want more flow from our stock rudder or you bought an upgraded rudder and a lot of times an upgraded rudder they come with these really small holes i guess it's just easier at the factory to drill a little hole little pickup boom they're done they don't have to worry about stressing the metal and, and you know all those little things that's involved with the process of making all mass producing parts so you want more flow so let's get this rudder off. Let's get the rudder off and let's get our flow on. Let's get let's get our flow on. Huh. All right. Let's uh let's take this nipple off. You got Basically, it's just a pickup. The water goes through the pickup, up the rudder, and comes out this hole right here. So we're going to take our, our nipple off. All right. I like pink nipples, but bronze will do. <laughs> All right. So now we have access to that, to that long hole right here. And you need a long drill bit to reach all the way down. Uh, this one actually has a pretty good, fairly good-sized hole. Really don't even need to open that up any, be honest with you. But we want more flow. Yeah, it's actually a big hole in there. So you just get your drill bit. It's going to reach all the way down to your pickup. If you don't have a drill bit that long, if you got a long rudder and you, and you don't have a long enough bit, you can drill it out as far as your bit, bit will reach. And this is a piece of stainless steel rod that I've actually just kind of put on my grinder out there and roughed up, like roughed it up pretty good. You see that? And you just put like a small a small bend in it all right put it like one way and then go the other way with it like a little s bend okay put it down in your rudder past your threads so you don't mess up your threads and run it down in there look at all this see this right here it's hard to see on my table 42 lid here just so you guys can see how much dust is coming out of here all right so you want to go past your threads so you don't mess up your threads so your nipple screws back in all right so you see all that dust see all that dust right there that's actually aluminum from where i'm op like sanding basically like filing off the inside of this rudder opening up our passage so just go down there look at that look at all that dust coming out i'm just showing you guys this i've got a long enough drill bit i'm just showing you this trick how to open it up without a drill bit So I'm just slowly opening up the the whole the passageway without drilling out the threads. All right. So I think that's going to be good. Now we're just going to get a drill bit and kind of open this hole right here up just a hair. You don't want to like cut that little lip off. You just want to kind of open it up a little bit. Let's find a drill bit that's going to match it. All right, so so that one's gonna be too big, okay? You want one just a little bit bigger than what you need, than what the actual hole is. You don't want to make it too big. Lose water flow if you make it too big. So that how much material is actually coming off if you use this method if you don't have a long enough drill bit? Because some some people might not. So. Quite a bit, quite a bit of material just filing, filing off the inside of that hole. Quite a bit. All right, so a little neat little trick for you guys. Uh, with the drill bit, 
you want to try to hit it at the same angle the factory has drilled taking material off here making it a little bit wider once we get it deep enough that our drill bit will actually fit in that hole once we get it deep enough we'll actually go in that hole and open it up but don't go in it until you got all this widened out and you're able to get that drill bit in there easy because you don't want to take this part right here off you don't want to take that part off you want that to stay that's actually what's going to cup the water and push that into the rudder so you don't want to take that part off okay same angle same angle as the factory has and just kind of keep the same the same angle you don't want to cock it this way or this way because you get best the best flow like parallel to the water <laughs> all right you can also use a file if you got like a little micro file i love have i love micro files these things are addicting I, i'll get to filing on something and won't stop for hours i really don't like drilling into this hole right here with my drill because i may knock that top part off you want that top part okay so if you want to finish it off with your file just file off file it down under that under that little flap right there it's like a little I can't stress that enough you don't want to take off the, that flap this is a big drill bit all right so I got all that kind of opened up okay this passageway this pickup part now we're going to use a drill bit a smaller drill bit you could do it with a file I would rather do it with a file but I want to show you how to do it with a drill bit uh, take a drill bit, make sure it's deep enough that you're not going to take that flap off. See how my drill bit went in there? Alright, put a little bit of down pressure, like pushing like toward my finger here. Down pressure, and then put a little bit of pressure up and down. Alright, open that hole up. You see what I'm doing? Down pressure, going down with it up pressure open that hole up not to take that flap off okay you don't want to take this flap off i know i've said it a couple times just making sure you guys understand all right i mean this could be a couple minute job or it could be an hour job depending on how how meticulous you are and and how much water flow you're trying to get all right. Make sure, make sure when you cut it, it's like smooth, no little burrs or anything, um, to to that hole that's going up into your water pickup, into your nipple. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You gotta know when to stop. Make the hole too big. And you're not going to pick up any water. You would basically pick a drill bit one step larger than the hole that's already drilled. Uh, you don't want to drill your threads out. And then if you're going to use my method, like with a roughed up piece of stainless steel rod, I guess a steel rod would work as well because it's harder than aluminum. So. Alright, so we should have more water flow. So you could go to your kitchen sink, put your rudder under the running water, and basically see how much flow you have. Alright, it'll actually come out this end right here. Um, and the better, the more flow you have, the better it's going to cool your boat down. So um, just keep doing this. If you get a little bit of flow coming out, so I'm actually going to go back to the drawing board. Get our smaller drill bit and 
basically we want a straight shot to that hole we want a straight shot to that hole you don't want like a little a little um like a little mound like in the middle like where it has a hump or something you need a straight shot this little flex wizard blah 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 but a little bit more flow oh yeah a little bit more flow than before a little bit more flow than before thicker all right all right let's go check it on the sink It's actually thicker flow than before. You see that? Even with it straight in line with the with the water, it's a better flow. Before I had to do it like this to get the flow like that. Yeah. All right. So there's no point in uh, opening up the flow on this without opening the flow for this. So we're gonna. Get us a drill bit, a little bit bigger than this size here. Could put it on my drill drill vise, but I'm gonna be lazy. Let's see if we could do it this way. Hold it with a pair of pliers. All right. It does that? <laughs> I know I'm not the only person that does that. All right, so let's put her on, and we can put her back together. Yep, we didn't drill our threads out because we didn't step up the drill bit size too big. We just kind of filed the inside out a little larger and opened the hole up. Easy way to do it. If you don't have like a, a long drill bit, it's like a little cheat for you guys. All right. I wish I would have done the sink test before I started the mod. That way we could see how much flow we, we actually got. But... A little too late for that uh, so the assembly is basically the same way we we disassembled it you don't want to get locked tight on your actual uh, pin because you it'll be really hard to get it out when you go take it out the next time and bam you're done so if you put your steering linkage on this outside hole you'll actually get less throw than on your inside hole so inside you get the most throw outside less throw we're going to keep it on the middle did a bunch of random just randomly roughed it up that way it'll kind of act as a file inside your rudder and open it up a little bit for you without messing up the threads because it looked like on this rudder the threads were about the same size as the actual hole so really all we really needed to do was open this this hole up and we would have got more flow but i just wanted to show you my little trick i, I, I came up with a couple years ago uh been been itching to show somebody this that will actually open that hole up quite a bit for you uh, without having a super long super long drill bit so hope it helped you out big b here with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good. Ring the bells and all them whistles <laughs> to get notified for future bills, future projects. As always, thank you guys for watching.